Nikki is over here, coming around this end. There's Bud running through the snow over there. Jem and Tucker are somewhere still back in the bamboo. Hey, Nick. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you see him running? It takes a while, but they're, they're way over there. Hey, Nikki, how are you, buddy? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, guys. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. How you doing, Jen? There she is. There she is. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Yeah? Oh, yeah? Hey, bud! Hey, Nick! There she goes. They spend more time outside than they do inside. I care. Oh, I'm sorry, Nikki. The lights are coming on. We have lights that come on out here all night, but they're not allowed here after dark. Hey, bud. Hey, Nick. There's those two scooching. And I'm ready to go. And they're going to come around the back of the building. Hey, Tuck. Jam has a thing for Tucker. But he really doesn't want to be bothered. How you doing, bud? Yeah? You staying on the path that Darlene, that mommy uh, shoveled for you? I noticed they like to ch follow the path. Yeah. Yeah. Because when uh, Jen was coming, she ran all the way up and around this way. And they're on the path still. Hey, Tuck. Hey, Nick. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah. Well, there's Bud. Yeah, there's Bud. Yeah. And there's Jam. Yeah. Oh, boy, you jumping up on me? Yeah. Yeah. I got the Cub Cadet to turn over. All right, so I figured tomorrow I'll see if I can get it started. And then we can kind of run it around the yard a little bit and get some wood at the same time. So, oh, yeah? You're getting awful talkative. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, there you are. There you are. Yeah. yeah there you are. Yeah. 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 Hey, Tuck Tuck. How you doing, buddy? You guys done playing? Huh? You guys done play? You tell them, Nick. You tell them. Yeah. All right, you ready to go in? I put the printer in the house. I mean, in the shop. Uh, Knock down some of the icicles. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. I don't want to rip the wire out. It took me too long to get it up there. Uh, yeah. But I was really concerned about a couple of little big ones. Yeah, falling down. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? All right, want to go in? Yeah? Oh, you like playing with Tucker, huh, Tuck Tuck? He likes Tucker. Why does she take a liking to Tucker? Oh, yeah? yeah. Nick is more for size. Yeah. Well, maybe she likes the little, uh, the little, um, alpha type. Huh. <laughs> it looks so funny to see this big, so funny to see this big dog doing this big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, Tuck, you done dealing with uh, Jen at this point? All right, let's go in. All right, go ahead. I'll let you go in first. Shut the door, babe. Uh, all right, so here's how it works. We close this gate. Let me turn back up a minute. There we go. We close this gate right after the next walking, so around when it gets dark, about 7.30, quarter eight. This gate gets closed. And at that point, they can go in and out of this yard which is the kennel area, all night, <laughs> in and out whenever they want. There's two beds over there. There's a partial shelter they can lay under. Uh, so if they want to lay out here, they can. And then they run down here, as you can see. And lights come on here. So there's lights all over every place for, for uh, us and them. And then they come out here, and then when they get out to here, they can look down the street that way, and across the yard, and down the street that way, and uh, and in the front of the house if they want to. But uh, so they have all this after dark, so to speak. Well, in this case, around 7:30 or so. So they can go in and out of the dog door and hang out out here if they want, or go back in the dog door, which is this one, and go in the house. They can do whatever they want to do. And the house, uh, this is the back porch right here. The door between the porch and the kitchen is always open, so they can lay on the, the back porch while the laundry room, whatever you want to call it, uh, as well, and still be in the house, or just walk in the door, and they're in the house. So they basically have full run of home wherever they want to go. All right. Uh, eh, there's more lights lighting up. See them all? Uh, there's another one way back there. I don't know if you see it. There's another one on the other side of the trees. Uh, and then there's also lights that come on if we lose power. So... And there's also a light in front here uh, that comes on if you walk near it. There's one over my head that's motion. That's motion. There's another one up there that goes on if the lights go out. There's a camera up there that scans all the way over there, all the way down the driveway, and all the way over to here. So Darlene keeps the camera on this doggy door at night. So if she gets up or she hears any barking, all she got to do is look at the camera and uh, she can see who's in and out and whoever's doing what. So like I say, this gets closed, but they still have the option of going in and out of there. So, so that's kind of how it works at this point. So, all right, and the birdhouses are making a lot of use of the heated now there's a birdhouse there. I don't know if you can see the light shining out through the bottom of it right there. I'll move my hand. But above the window, there's a white mailbox that I turned into a double-sided uh, birdhouse. And it's got heat in it, and it's insulated. And I don't know if you can see on the bottom, there's a little bit of light shining through. So... All right, and they can go in out of the garage, the shop, whenever they want, which has heat, and it's always uh, set at at least 50. Um, so, like for now, if they want to come out now, this gate's still open until 7.30, so they can come out, and if they want, they can come in the house, or they can go hang out in the shop.